You know, Kelsey has a great football IQ. Um, he's a guy that knows how to use his body. Travis Kelsey is incredible. Step up, firing down the near side. Kelsey at the 20, 15 to the 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown! Years. The big man, Ho, in the backfield. So I think we all know that Travis Kelsey is anything but camera shy, and that's probably for the best, because this dude is always in the spotlight. At this point, Travis Kelsey is pretty much in a league of his own when it comes to the NFL tight end position, and it definitely doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. Let's start things off with his vital stats and family life. The outstanding athlete was born Travis Michael Kelsey on October 5th, 1989 in Westlake, Ohio. Son of Donna and Ed Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, now 33, stands six feet five inches tall and weighs around 250 pounds. He ran a 4.63 40-yard dash at the combine, which was in the 93rd percentile for the tight end position that year. I think everyone that watches him on Sundays can agree, the man ain't slow. Football talent runs deep in the Kelsey family as Travis's older brother Jason Kelsey also plays center for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jason is no slouch either, racking up five Pro Bowl selections and four first-team All-Pro selections over his NFL career. Kelsey attended Cleveland Heights High School in his hometown of Cleveland Heights, Ohio. He later joined the University of Cincinnati and majored in exploratory studies. As is the case with many great athletes, Travis wasn't just a football player. He was a three-sport athlete, lettering in football, basketball, and baseball. Fun fact for you guys, Travis played quarterback and had 2,539 yards of total offense as a senior. He ran for 1,016 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns and threw for 1,523 passing yards and 21 touchdowns. Now let's take a peek into his college career on and off the field. Kelsey was a two-star prospect, according to Rivals.com, and chose the University of Cincinnati over offers from Akron, Eastern Michigan, and Miami of Ohio, where he joined his brother Jason Kelsey, who was with the Bearcats starting left guard. He participated in 11 games after redshirting in 2008, playing tight end and quarterback out of the Wildcat formation. Travis did have some road bumps, to say the very least, during his time at Cincinnati, missing an entire season for off-the-field issues, including failing a drug test for good old Mary Jane. He has had his fair share of NFL off- and on-field issues, too, which are coming up towards the end of the video. Kelsey returned to the squad to begin the 2011 season after serving a one-year suspension. During his last season with the Bearcats, he set an all-time personal career best in receptions with 45, receiving yards 722, yards per reception 16, and receiving touchdowns 8, earning him first-team all-conference honors. On top of that, he was also named the College Football Performance Awards Tight End of the Year. Time to talk about his NFL career and achievements. The Kansas City Chiefs picked him 63rd overall in the 2013 NFL Draft. Kelsey joined the Chiefs after signing a four-year rookie deal. He had to sit out his rookie season due to knee surgery, playing only one game. But in his second season with the Chiefs, he played a total of 16 games and started 11 of them. And he finished the season as the leading receiver for the Chiefs, with a total of 67 receptions off 862 yards. Not too shabby. Kelsey is a six-time Pro Bowler, 2015 to 2021, and is already on track to make that seven in a row for 2022. He was second-team All-Pro in 2017, 2019, and 2021, and first-team All-Pro in 2016, 2018, and 2020. He also helped the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl in 2020, which is one of the accomplishments he is most proud of. A few more fun stats, Kelsey holds the NFL record for most consecutive seasons with 1,000 yards receiving by a tight end at six, and the record for most receiving yards by a tight end in a single season with 1,416. He is also the fastest tight end in NFL history to reach the 500 reception mark and still holds the second longest pass catching streak in Chiefs franchise history. All those records do warrant at least a decent sized ego. Kelsey has had his fair share of altercations on the field. 
During his second season with the Chiefs, he received an $11,025 penalty for making inappropriate gestures to Von Miller in a game against the Denver Broncos. And in 2016, he was fined $24,309 for unsportsmanlike conduct, for taking his helmet off and cussing out a referee. He's also faced multiple fines from $10,000 to $25,000 since then for various penalties and skirmishes. He's also had a few altercations with coaches, one of the more public involving him pushing his offensive coordinator, Eric Benemy, on the sideline. On a more positive note, let's take a look at his recent contract and endorsement deals. His first contract with the Kansas City Chiefs was worth $3.12 million with a $700,000 signing bonus guarantee. In 2016, he was handed a four extension for $46 million spread across five years. A decade later, he is now among the NFL's best pass catchers, regardless of position. So the Chiefs have locked Kelsey up with another extension that began this year at four years and $57 million, with $22.7 million guaranteed, making him one of the highest paid tight ends in the league, and rightfully so. Being an NFL superstar also comes with a myriad of lucrative endorsement opportunities. Apart from his football earnings, Travis Kelsey's net worth comprises of various endorsement deals and partnerships. Some of his most notable collaborations include McDonald's, Papa John's, Nike, Dick's Sporting Goods, Tide, Old Spice, Sleep Number, High V, Amazon, Hellsberg Diamonds, Walgreens, Ashok Energy, and David Buster's. That's obviously quite the list, but for his collective net worth, you must stick around to the end. So how does he spend his cash? Kelsey once stated earlier in his career that he nearly went broke when he was on his rookie contract with his lavish expenditures. Fortunately, he eventually figured his stuff out and now advises young players coming into the league to find a financial advisor pretty much immediately. Kelsey has smartly begun to modify his lifestyle and now lives in a luxurious high-rise apartment in the heart of Kansas City with a rooftop pool, fireside lounges, and a gym. This surprisingly only runs him $3,400 a month, and he's been living there since 2018. He does like cars, though, and has quite the collection, including an Aston Martin worth a cool $300,000, a Range Rover, many hardtop, GMC SUV truck, and a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon AMG that has a price tag over $200,000 with all of his customizations included. Peeking now into his personal life. Kelsey hosted the E! Entertainment Television's dating show Catching Kelsey in January 2016. He chose Maya Benberry as the winner, and they began dating after the show ended in April 2016. Sadly, Benberry declared their breakup shortly after in January 2017. Kelsey's most recent relationship had lasted about four years and was with Kayla Nicole, a sports journalist and a former beauty pageant contestant who has worked as a reporter for NBA and BET. The couple made their relationship public in May 2017. However, a few weeks ago, the couple came clean on Instagram and admitted that they were parting ways. So yes, Travis is back on the market, ladies. Kelsey has a huge fan base all over the world. He's available on Twitter with a total of 756.5 thousand followers and also has 1.5 million fans that are following him on Instagram, at Killadraft. He's on Facebook as well with a huge fan base of 438,000 followers. He frequently updates his social media profiles with daily life activities. He also likes live tweeting the game while not playing, hyping up other players around the league and tweeting about their sports and events. Let's take a look into how Travis Kelsey gives back to his community. Kelsey established the 87 and Running Foundation in 2015, which empowers disadvantaged youth to achieve success by providing resources and support to their communities and cultivating their talent in the areas of education, business, athletics, and the arts. He's hosted $1 car washes that benefited the nonprofit. In 2018, he appeared on a calendar for June in support of Braden Soap for Childhood Cancer to raise awareness and fund research grants. Moreover, following a four-year, $57 million contract extension, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end announced he and his 87 and Running Foundation are purchasing a building where they will launch a STEM program in collaboration with the local nonprofit Operation Breakthrough. He also had partnered with a regional food bank to donate meals to local families during the coronavirus pandemic. 
coming to his other business interests. Like most other NFL players, Kelsey has ventured for his own merch, Indochino, launched his own nutritional brand, Hilo Nutrition, and a lifestyle brand, True Colors, has also introduced Kelsey Crunch, his personal cereal, hosted a reality TV show, Catching Kelsey in 2016. He also has some investment in Cholula Hot Sauce, Players TV, Hydro, a car wash chain, and Kodiak. Now, at this point, you people must be getting excited about his net worth. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, we're here. According to sources, Kelsey's net worth as of now is estimated to be somewhere between $25 and $50 million. That's including his salary, contract earnings thus far, and endorsements. But he has an estimated $100 million left to collect should he stay healthy and finish out his contract. Let's all pray he does stay healthy because he's an awesome dude and definitely a blast to watch. That's it for now, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and peace out.